become the league's first five-game winner, but he had to take on the suddenly warm Yankees coming off the sweep of the A's. Pictures, descriptions, and accounts. Let's go to the hermetically sealed Metrodome for this one, the opener of a three-game set, the Yankees and the Twins. Spot of the second, David Ortiz ripping one off the wall. We're going to show you the entirety of the Twins' offense in this one. Doug Mankiewicz comes up and deposits the baseball in center field. Ortiz laboring around third. He will score. Mankiewicz extends his career high hitting streak to 13 games, 1 0 Twins. Top four. Tino Martinez up against Radke, one down. And Tino, bye bye. That was the entirety of the Yankees' offense. We're tied at one. Tino's fifth of the season. Bottom seven. Mankiewicz again. Take it, pet it deep to right. He's got the old school socks. Looks a little like Rusty Staub out there. His sixth of the year, 2 1 Twins. He is batting 380 on the season. Andy Pettit, non plus. Top eight, Radke still in there facing Derek Jeter. And Jeter grounds out to Corey Koski. Radke induced 18 ground ball outs in this one. Top nine, two outs for Radke facing Jorge Posada. Be gone with ye. Radke goes the distance, and the Twins win it. Two to one, your final. He becomes the first five-game winner in baseball. He's the first pitcher in franchise history to win five games in April since 1913 when the big train, Walter Johnson, did it. This is how the Twins win. Solid pitching, airtight defense, no errors. They scratch out two runs on just three hits. No top of the second, we're scoreless. Mike Sweeney facing Joey Hamilton with a runner on second. Drives one to the gap. They've conveniently labeled the gap for you in Toronto. Jermaine Dye comes in to score. It's 1-0 Royals on Sweeney's RBI double. Now bottom of the fourth, Tony Batista facing Jeff Supan. Runner on second. Toronto down two zip. Batista changes all that with one swing of the bat. Seventh homer of the season. We are all even at two. Top of the fifth now, 3-2 Royals. It is Sweeney again. Again off Hamilton, and this time gone. Solo homer, his sixth homer of the season. All of them against Toronto. It's 4-2 Royals. Now bottom of the sixth, still 4-2. Supan gets Raul Mondesi, and then gets Batista. Supan went seven and a third, giving up three runs on eight hits, striking out six. Bottom of the ninth now, 6-3 Royals. Shannon Stewart up there facing Roberto Hernandez, and that is your ball game. Royals take it 6-3. Supan, it was winless in it. 4 ERA of more than 10 coming in, but a good start in the first. It's Brad Osmus, and then gets Jeff Bagwell as well. Traxel finished with 7 Ks. Top of the second, though, Lance Berkman facing Traxel, and Berkman gets the better of that battle. The drive to right is gone. His sixth of the year, and it's 1-0 Houston. Bottom of the fourth, Mets with two on, two out for Edgardo Alfonso. Scott Ellerton Gets some great fielding help from Moises Salou. The nice diving catch to bail the Astros out. Now bottom of the six, two on, two out. Timo Perez off Ellerton's leg and into left. Jay Payton comes around, he scores, and that gives the Mets the lead at 2-1. Your next batter, Alfonso. Back up the middle, Benny Agbayani scores. Mets now lead it 3-1. They bring in Kent Bottenfield to face Mike Piazza with two on, and Piazza says, be seen. A three-run drive to right is eighth of the season. Mets get five in the sixth. They go up 6-1, and the offensively challenged Mets go on to win it 8-2. It equals their largest offensive out. It's Brady Anderson, and there goes the no-hitter. The 44th time, Brady's led off with a home run, second only to Ricky Henderson. The second of the season owes up 1-0. Bottom two. Melvin Mora. Mora, Mora, Mora. The two-run shot. The O's take the 3-0 lead. Melvin's first of the season. Bottom four, it's 4-2 O's. Wilson facing Jerry Harrison. Chopper, Felix Martinez has a really strong arm. It's ruled an error, his ninth of the season. Next batter is Anderson. Another ground ball to Martinez. This time he skips one at Freddie McGriff, who can't handle it. The throw home. And that's not in time. Harrison scores. The O's go on to win 5-3. The D-Rays lead the league with 32 errors. Willis Roberts, who was in double-A a year ago, has...